how do I firmware update my Sony ZV-1 camera to the latest version? Now, as you know, firmware is the, the software that runs the camera. So I'm effectively upgrading my little Sony ZV-1 camera. It's very exciting. Sony has just released version 2.00, but I've really not done this before because I've never firmware updated a Sony camera. So if you're like me and you've never done it before, I'm, I'm gonna do this step-by-step step so you can follow along and hopefully avoid any mistakes that I make along the way. And welcome to the Happy Hearts. Hello, I'm Neil Mossy. Usually I'm a development producer helping high achieving creators and performers just like you to get ideas out of your head and out onto here on YouTube. But I have recently upgraded my camera to the Sony ZV-1. I really miss not shooting this on this camera right now. And I've been making videos along the way of my journey with my Sony ZV-1 camera. I'm British, so I should be calling it a ZV-1 camera. I am going to be following the instructions right here on the Sony website. And the reason why this is especially exciting is that there's a new feature being released in the firmware update and apparently you could just plug this straight into the computer and use it as a webcam without any extra software or hardware. I've been using my ZV-1 or ZV-1 so much with this. It's a, a very cheap capture card. I got it for about $15. It works beautifully. We're not gonna need to use that anymore. So why not stick around to the end of the video to see if this actually works. I'm gonna plug this into the computer and I'm gonna see if this works with Zoom because that's what I've been using with the capture card. We're gonna try and do that with just the USB cable and this firmware version 2.00 update. So let's dive in with the very first instruction here before you start. Check the system software version. We first, I, I know that I haven't updated this, but we're going to check the firmware version that's already on the ZV-1 camera. We are going to press the menu button and then go along to setup. And setup is the tab at the top, which looks like a toolbox. It's that yellow tab there. The fifth tab along, and then I'll press the down button to go into the menus and we want page five. And if you press the down button and go down to version and hit okay we can see that the firmware version on my zv1 is 1.00 <laughs> we're going to say goodbye to that soon next i'm going to make sure that my battery is fully charged and i'm going to take out my memory card oh no i need that next i'm going to hit download on the sony website read through the terms and conditions and hit download and i'll just save this to my desktop then I'm going to double click on the .exe file that I've downloaded. On the camera, I'm going to select menu, setup, USB connection, and check if mass storage is selected. So I'm now going to turn the camera on and the Sony website asked me to connect with the supplied cable, which isn't that long. So I'm gonna wing it and I've got a really long pink cable. So we're gonna see if this works. <laughs> I'm gonna plug this into the computer and it's retracted the lens. I don't know if you can see there. Oh, I missed my ZV-1 focus. There you go. <laughs> USB mode. And then I'm going to click next on the system software updater. Oh no, the battery level's too low. Charge the battery and start from the beginning again. So I thought I'd be okay. I was on three, but I lied. When I said it was fully charged, actually I was on three bars of battery. I thought that would be okay. And it's not. <laughs> so I'm just going to charge this up and we'll try again. So I'm going to double click on the firmware update and I'm going to switch the camera on and plug the USB cable into the computer. So I'll click next again. Verify the version of the update information on the bottom left hand corner of the screen. That's just down here. It says current version, version 1.00 version after the update, version 2.00, which means we can now click next. Oh, this looks good. So this is exciting. I think it's gonna take a few minutes. I won't make you sit through all of this, but here's some highlights from the screen. The update process has been completed. Whoa, <laughs> it's just come to life. There we go, and there's a message on the screen there. To start USB streaming, unplug the USB cable, execute USB streaming function before connecting USB cable. So the update has been completed from the system software updater. So the firmware update 
is done, I think. Next, I'll disconnect the USB cable. Now all we have to do is check that the firmware has updated. So I'm going to hit menu and we'll go to the same screen that we did before in setup. Oh yeah, screen number five, go down to version, hit OK. Yes, we've done it. That's a firmware update, version 2.00 for the Sony ZV-1 camera. Fantastic, click OK. Am I okay? I'm more than okay. And we'll get this camera up onto my webcam position and let's see if it works on Zoom. I've plugged my ZV-1 into my PC again and this box has come up on my Windows. Uh, select to choose what happens with this device. Guess I will just take no action. But I'm slightly stuck because it's saying I've got to execute USB streaming function before connecting the USB cable. And I don't know where the USB streaming function is. So I'm going to hunt around for it in the menu. Okay, I've figured this out. It's, <laughs> it seems so simple, but it's taken me 15 minutes to work this out. The USB streaming function is on another menu. It's on the second tab, tab two. The option right at the bottom there, can you see it says USB streaming? We're going to hit OK. I've now got my USB cable connected to my Sony ZV-1 camera, or is it ZV-1 camera? Leave a comment below, see what you prefer. Let me show you what's on screen now. It says start streaming from connected device. This is the moment of truth. I've opened up Zoom on my computer and I'll hit start. And let's see if we can get this camera going. I'll click join with computer audio. I'll hit record so you can see what I'm recording. And down here, I'm going to see what happens when I hit the select camera button. Whoa, there it is. <laughs> ZV-1 camera is an option on Zoom. So I'll select that and I'll start video. And there we go. Oh my goodness. We can, oh, <laughs> this is crazy for me because I've spent what, six months using an HDMI capture card to run my ZV-1 camera through Zoom. I'm doing this just with a USB cable, no extra hardware, no extra software. It's not even the proper Sony USB cable that I'm using and it, it seems to work. And this is the recording. This is the actual recording from Zoom. I'm using the onboard microphone. That's what you can hear right now. But this is the Zoom recording. This is the actual Zoom recording. That is the Sony ZV-1 camera firmware update. I have loads more ZV-1 camera videos or ZV-1 camera videos. They're in this playlist here and right here is what YouTube thinks you should be watching next.